Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be comparing YouTube TV versus Fubo, which one is the best live streaming service. These two platforms offer a wide range of channels, including locals, ESPN, NFL Network, and more. But there is a catch, they do have a few key differences that could sway your decision. So we are going to explore these two platforms and when it comes to their features, key differences, and more. And without much further ado, let's get started. Starting with Fubo TV. Fubo TV is a live TV service that prides itself on offering a plethora of regional sports networks. When you first launch the application, you will be greeted with a sleek home screen that remembers where you left off and it recommends live channels based on your recent viewing history and spotlights other content to pique your interest. This personalized touch makes navigation a breeze, ensuring that you never miss out on your favorite shows or any sports event. But the biggest highlight of all is Fubo TV's guide. It's a traditional cable guide that sports enthusiasts will absolutely love. On the side, you can filter channels by categories like sports, entertainment, news, and more, making it very easy to find exactly what you're in the mood for. And with the ability to scroll through a ton of channels, including your local RSNs, you will never miss a game or that highly anticipated sports documentaries. Of course, there is the ability to record your favorite TV shows. You would simply click the record button and then you can choose to record a single episode or even the entire series. It is that simple and all of your recorded content is neatly organized in the My Stuff section along with a generous 1000 hours of DVR storage. I really like how Fubo TV keeps everything tidy and accessible. Now one of the standout features of Fubo TV is its excellent streaming quality. With a robust infrastructure and advanced video codecs, you can expect smooth buffer-free playback even during high demand events like major sports games or live award shows. So you won't have to worry about frustrating interruptions or choppy videos. Moving on, let's take a look at YouTube TV. Just like Fubo TV, it offers a similar home screen experience with recommended content, live channels based on your viewing history, and spotlighted shows and movies. One cool feature is the ability to create individual profiles so everyone in your household can have their own personalized experience. It also has a traditional guide making it easy to browse channels and upcoming programming. And just like Fubo TV, you can record shows and movies with a few clicks, your DVR library is conveniently located in one place, making it very easy to catch up on your favorite content. Another standout feature of YouTube TV is its integration with NFL Sunday Ticket. So if you are a die-hard American football fan, you can subscribe to this add-on and never miss a game. And if multitasking is your thing, then YouTube TV offers a nifty feature that groups channels by genre. So for example, news or sports. And then you can easily switch between them without constantly flipping through the guide. So this feature makes it very easy to catch up on the latest headlines or flip between multiple games. And in my opinion, YouTube TV really shines when it comes to local channel availability. So in many areas, you will have access to a wide range of local broadcast stations, ensuring that you never miss out on your favorite local news, sports, and programming. It is a big advantage for those who value staying connected to their community. And now let's discuss the key differences that you should be aware of. While both services offer a solid streaming experience, there are a few key differences to consider. Fubo TV boasts a wider selection of RSNs, making it a strong contender for sports fans. If you are a diehard follower of your local teams, then Fubo TV might be the way to go. However, YouTube TV has an edge when it comes to local channels as it offers more options in certain areas. So if you value having access to your local news and programming, then YouTube TV might be the better choice. Another distinction is the DVR storage. While YouTube TV offers an unlimited DVR, it only keeps your recordings for 9 months. This might not be an issue for most viewers, but if you're the type who likes to hang on to certain shows or events for even longer periods, then Fubo TV could be a better fit. It allows you to keep your recordings indefinitely, but with a limited storage capacity which varies based on your plan. And when it comes to channel lineups, then both services have their strengths and weaknesses. Fubo TV may have more RSNs, but YouTube TV boasts channels like PBS, AMC, and Hallmark Channel, so this completely comes down to your personal preferences and must-have channels. I would highly recommend taking some time to review the channel lists and making sure that your favorite networks are included. Another important factor to consider, of course, is the pricing. So when it comes to that, both services are fairly comparable. You can start with Fubo TV with a free trial, no commitment, and cancel anytime. The pro plan starts with around $60 per month after your trial on your first month. And then after that, you would have to pay around $80 per month after that first one. 
However, with YouTube TV, it's a little bit different. You can also start with a free trial and then you would get $63 per month on your first three months. Now, this is a big plus if you choose to go with YouTube TV as you would be saving quite a bit of money. And after your first three months, the plan would go back to being $73 per month, which is still a little bit cheaper than Fubo. And one last thing I want to mention is that both services also offer robust applications and support for a wide range of devices including smart TVs, streaming boxes, tablets, and smartphones. So at the end of the day, both YouTube TV and Fubo TV are excellent options for you if you want to cut the cable. It is, in my opinion, the best way to ditch the traditional cable without sacrificing any of your favorite channels. The choice ultimately comes down to your specific needs and preferences. And that will be a wrap on today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know your own thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you found today's video to be helpful or informative to watch, then give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make related to this one.